Hi, this is just a short video to introduce two different electronic components, uh, which are kind of unrelated, but can be used together uh, in interesting ways. So the first one uh, is this. This is a sheet of um, what is sometimes called smart glass or smart film. Um, it's not, it's flexible like this, as you can see. And uh, this is an A4 sized sheet, but you can get it in lots of different sizes. And what happens is normally it's kind of this uh, milky white kind of opaque colour. And that's because it's got a number of um, different crystals uh, sort of aligned in it, suspended in liquid. What happens is when you apply a uh, AC voltage across the plates here, those crystals align and the uh, opaque sheet becomes transparent. So for example, if I just show that to you here, this is opaque and now it's transparent. Turn the electricity off again, becomes opaque again. Back to transparent. Like that. Uh, now, I've still got the um, uh, protective film on here at the moment. So, uh, if I peel that back a little bit more, just so you can see. It doesn't become perfectly opaque, and it doesn't become perfectly transparent either. Um, but it's not bad. If I hold that up to the screen, um, you can see pretty much clearly uh, through it like that. Um, in fact, you can even adjust how... Um, opaque it becomes by uh, changing the voltage that you apply across it. So that's the first thing I wanted to uh, demonstrate and that would be pretty cool um, you know as a panel installed um, in a box or uh, you know across some kind of frame or something that you normally can't see through and then perhaps when um, someone activates some kind of puzzle or switch or something like that it uh, becomes transparent you can see what's in it like that. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Now, I did mention that this is controlled by um, an AC current uh, between these two electrodes here. So that brings me on to the second component I wanted to talk about. And that is one of these. Uh, let me show that a little bit closer. So this is uh, a solid state relay. Now, I've talked about relays in a uh, previous video. Um, but in the past, I've only talked about relay blocks that could control a DC current. Um, this is very similar to those uh, relays, the kind of the blue modules. The difference is that this is uh, rated so that you can apply a DC current on this side of the relay and it can control an AC current on the other side. You can't do that with the, uh, the, the sort of the little uh, blue relay blocks which I showed you earlier, but this particular um, one. So, and the other thing, because it's uh, what's called solid state relay, so there's no moving parts inside this, so you don't get the click that you might be familiar with um, from using other sorts of relays. It's completely silent operation. So, um, to activate it, you can apply anything between 3 and 32 volts DC on this side. So, that's perfect for the output of an Arduino, for example. So, down here, if I can find it. So here I have uh, one I made earlier. Um, so here we have the uh, solid state relay in the middle and on the load side, what I've done is I've um, cut into the uh, hot, the live wire on a uh, connection here. So that's a break in the wire being controlled there. And on this side, um, you can actually see it's got a, a little light that's flashing on and off. So this side is wired to um, an Arduino that's just running the blink sketch at the moment. So what that's doing every second is just activating the relay and uh, deactivating again. And as you can hear, that's completely silent. You can't hear the click of the relay going on and off, um, but I'm hoping that you can see uh, this red light here just to show that it's on and then off again. Okay, so if I now plug uh, this into my smart glass that I showed you earlier, let's just unplug that and plug that into here instead. So what I now have is my smart glass going to my um, solid state relay module which is being controlled by the blink sketch on an Arduino. So all this is doing is making this glass uh, clear and then letting it become opaque again with it just oscillating every second. Now I mean I don't know if that's hugely useful to you um, but um, hopefully that will show you uh, at least how you can do it and maybe you can think of uh, a way to use that in an interesting way in your puzzles. And thanks very much for watching. 